There's not one person on the planet who has IRIDES identical to yours. More than that, there's not one person who has ever existed on the planet who has IRIDES identical to yours. So it is a true um, indicator of your personal uniqueness. Um, it is now increasingly being used as a bio-identifier. I don't know whether anybody's been through um, any passport controls where they use iris identification. I gather there's one in Amsterdam at the moment, and I think they're springing up in various places. Sometimes you now uh, can have your iris uh, photographs recorded as part of the chip that they now put into UK passports as well. So the uniqueness of the iris is, is certainly recognised by the authorities um, and will... In fact, it's, it's about 100... Um, Sorry, it's about 10 times more detailed than your fingerprints as an analysis of who you are. So in, a, in, a, in the average fingerprint identification, they're looking for 17 signs to coincide to tell them that that is actually you. Um, but of course, that can often go wrong. As we know, fingerprinting isn't infallible. The iris, on the, contra uh, on the other hand, uh, is, is, has a possibility of up to 200 different signs in each iris. So it's a, a lot more detailed, as you can see. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe below so you don't miss any future content. To learn more about CNM or its courses, head to www.naturopathy-uk.com.